Thank you. Mr. Young. Thank you, Madam Secretary and Admiral Mullen, for being here today. I really appreciate your testimony. You know, I want our troops to come home as soon as possible. Everyone here does. Uh, but notwithstanding your reassurances, Admiral Mullen, I'm not yet comfortable that the decisions related to this drawdown or future decisions related to our force posture in Afghanistan are, in fact, going to be uh, primarily based uh, upon conditions on the ground. And, and so I hope to get comfortable with that. One of the conditions on the ground, as I see it, that uh, is uh, very important as we consider our existing force posture and, and future force posture is, of course, uh, the conditions on the ground in Pakistan, uh, where there are elements uh, of, of various extremist elements, including elements of the Taliban, uh, that uh, uh, reside over there in a relatively safer haven uh, than Afghanistan. Uh, you acknowledge that uh, yourself, Admiral, that uh, uh, the situation in Pakistan is a significant uh, inherent risk to our overall strategy. Um, these elements, uh, extremists uh, laying in wait in Pakistan, uh, th threaten to create the very conditions uh, destabilizing conditions that justify our presence in Afghanistan. Uh, regardless of our progress towards the six components of our overall strategy articulated in the President's West Point speech. So my first question, uh, laying that groundwork, is, uh, Admiral Mullen, are you prepared to say that the conditions on the ground in Pakistan have improved to such an extent that the threat uh, to the government in Afghanistan and to the people of Afghanistan uh, by these extremists in Pakistan has diminished uh, to uh, a significant degree. The, I think it's really important to remember that the, you know, core, uh, the core goal of the President's strategy was to disrupt, dismantle, and defeat al-Qaeda. And al-Qaeda is very much on the ropes right now. I don't say that thinking it's over, because they still would like to kill as many of us as they possibly could, and they have aspirational goals to do that. Uh, secondly is to make sure that Afghanistan can't turn into fertile ground for al-Qaeda or another organization which would threaten us long term. And that's really what the Afghanistan piece of this is. I'm going I'm to very rudely interject, which is a euphemism yeah. for interrupt here on the Hill. but. Um, <laughs> All right, so we're, we're trying to create conditions, of course, where, where Afghanistan can't become a safe haven, but it seems that Pakistan is a relatively safer haven already. And that's where, first of all, targeting, targeting significant leaders in those other organizations, uh, the uh, Afghan Taliban, the, the Haqqani Network, et cetera, with, in many cases, our Pakistani partners, which is problematic, is a part of this. And what the strategy uh, is intended to do is buy space so that there can be political reconciliation across the board. That's not an insignificant All right, Admiral. So it seems that we are, we are uh, approaching Pakistan with, with a very limited sort of counter-terrorist strategy when we're implementing a, a, a uh, counterinsurgency uh, strategy over in Afghanistan. We have our UAVs, much reported. Uh, that uh, are going the, after, yes. I think our approach with Pakistan has been to engage them, to try to partner with them, support them in training, so that they can deal with, with the threats which are both internal to them as well as external. Now, that, that's a very, very difficult strategy and execution just because of what, uh, because of both the history, the lack of trust, we left them before, and right. obviously recent okay. events. So, Admiral, in your estimation, uh, you know, we can never, uh, we can never send in enough American troops to Afghanistan uh, to create conditions where, where uh, the, the extremists across the border in Pakistan would not present a threat uh, to the Afghans, uh, conceivably a, a threat to no, the United States. it's got to change in Pakistan. Right. So all of this depends upon the Pakistanis' uh, uh, playing ball, if you will, to put it colloquially. There's great risk in the strategy tied to Pakistan. There has been from the beginning. Okay. Now, finally, is our remaining presence on the ground in Afghanistan in part a hedge against or a deterrent to future efforts by these militants in Pakistan to use regions of that country 
as an unfettered uh, training ground uh, for their activities, or even worst case scenario, to get control of Pakistan's uh, nuclear arsenal, perhaps through violent means. I think through, through Pakistani eyes, what you say, you know, they are very concerned about an unstable Afghanistan that could threaten them with a much larger force. That's why getting to some level of stability and peaceful outcome here is so important. And I believe if we can, Pakistan will come to that. So as I assess They'll whether we should to keep that troops shift. there or not, uh, we should in no way factor in the fact that our troops are, are playing a productive role in perhaps deterring those extremists uh, uh, Gentlemen. from taking control of the nuclear arsenal. Hmm. Am I allowed to answer that? Okay. Yes. Can he well, answer? Can Admiral, if we could get that question on the record and get sure. the answer for the committee, I would, right. we would appreciate it. Uh, Mr. Lajman. Uh, 